finally sleeps here. Today, uh, we're gonna replace the electric fan. It's the flex fan on the inside the Sonic. Uh, whenever the car is running and the fan kicks in, it has a, it basically has a goddamn seat. So this is what we're replacing. It's the fan, it's the entire assembly that attaches to the front of the radiator. Uh, the Basically the bearings went out in the fan. So when it kicks in, the fan starts to wobble so bad that it's just walking away from the radiator. Now, there's really only two, two bolts. There's one here and then one at the very bottom on this side that hold it in place. Uh, you're, your AC lines and stuff run through it, and there's a few different lines that click in. Like this one snaps into it, I've already pulled it out. And then down there in the bottom, there are two lines that connect, which it's right down there. You can see I'm pointing to it. It's that one, and you just use a, a screwdriver to pop it out. That whole assembly comes out of the whole thing. So this is the new assembly. And as you can see, that part down there at the bottom is where that uh, thing that holds the two uh, lines snaps in there. This side, these just fit into the side of the radiator. And then these are the two spots where the bolts are. So basically it just slides in and locks into place. And then there's one electrical connection here. That's it, it's really not that much to it. Okay, getting these two nuts out is a total bitch, but it's literally just two is all you have to deal with. All right, so these two bolts are out. I went ahead and popped this loose and scooted it over to release the tabs on this side. Pulled the two bolts out so that we can get the reservoir out of the way because we're gonna have to pull this whole thing out. Down here at the bottom, this assembly here popped free, so now it's floating. This line right here was held in right here at this tab, so I had to pop it out so that this whole thing can come forward and scoot over to release these two tabs. Then you disconnect the electrical. It's just a tab here. Remove the electrical, and now everything's ready. The whole thing just lifts up and out. The only problem that it's gonna have is this line. Uh, I actually broke the clips trying to get it out. So we're gonna move this line a little bit so that the new one can slide in a little bit easier. Okay, so the new one is in. So basically you bring it in this way and then feed the two tabs in, the upper and the lower. They snap into place there. You have to get it behind this line to get it to move that way, to get it to seat. Then when you bring it back, you just snap that in, and then we're gonna put this tab way down here. We're gonna seat it into the hole. If I can see it, see it, we'll seat that in, snap it into place, come back up here. The electrical connection goes in here. Snap it down, and then the last thing we have are the two bolts back in place and the reservoir back over, and we should be good to go. Okay, bolts are back in, the upper and the lower. Went ahead and reseated the line coming over to the reservoir. Reservoir is back in place. Just need to crank these down. All right, everything's back in place. It's wired up. Let's test it out. That's it, guys. Uh, it was simple. It's about a 15 minute job. Something that sounded like, it, I mean, it was insane. <laughs> the noise of that bad uh, flex fan hitting the radiator. 
but 15 minutes and an easy part from Amazon, links in the description, uh, afternoon fix, 15, 20 minutes. Just the only thing you really wanna watch out for is the hard lines. Just make sure you get them in the right place and then make sure everything's back together before you shut it all down. Thanks a lot, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.